controversy is brewing on the central coast of New South Wales over plans for a massive wind farm to be built 10 kilometres offshore. Residents claim there has been little consultation over the proposal and fear the wind turbines will detract from the beauty of the coast as well as impact wildlife and tourism. This is Nora Head. It's a place locals call their paradise. People come here from not only around Australia, but from all over the world to walk on the beaches, swim, look at the whales, watch the dolphins catching waves. But these views could soon be interrupted as the federal government pushes ahead with plans to build hundreds of wind turbines offshore. Each one is expected to be around 300 metres tall. That's the size of Sydney's centre point tower. The wind farm is set to be built in a zone that stretches over 5,000 square kilometres between Nora Head and Port Stephens. The main advantage of an offshore wind farm is that they have a higher capacity for a smaller footprint. Just one of these turbines is big enough to supply 22,000 homes. Steve Hogaveen has called Nora Head home for 35 years. He's worried about how the project could harm marine life. We have uh... The whales going past on the superhighway every year. The turbines will also have a great impact on the migrating seabirds and bird strike from wind turbines is absolutely horrific. Steve is among many in the community who believe the wind farm will detract from the nationally recognised surfing reserve and will turn tourists away. So that will have a great impact on everybody here, the restaurants, coffee shops, motels and hotels. This is a key lookout in Nora Head where locals and tourists gather to appreciate the natural beauty. Residents here fear that a wind farm 10 kilometres offshore will create an eyesore on their paradise. The proposal comes as Australia continues to transition to renewable energy to meet its target of net zero by 2050. The government has set itself targets for a renewable rollout. Those targets are proving to be unrealistic. The government is getting desperate and it is just steamrolling over regional communities to try to achieve their political targets. The project is set to create thousands of jobs. The Department of Climate, Energy, the Environment and Water received nearly 2,000 submissions as part of the 60-day consultation period. But locals claim their questions are going unanswered. From what I heard from the local community, the consultation process has not worked. They themselves have not been given the opportunity to have their voices heard, nor to have their questions answered. It's going to be affecting their way of life, their local economy, their local environment. Federal Labor member for Dobell, Emma McBride, has told Sky News, I will always listen and consult with our community and continue to be a strong advocate for the Central Coast in Federal Parliament. This situation is no different. In order for any renewable energy projects to be developed or operate, multiple stages of approval must be obtained across Commonwealth and state jurisdictions. Residents will be consulted at each stage. But residents along the central coast are vowing to push back against the project before it's too late. We can't see the point in destroying one environment trying to save another one. Gabriella Power, Sky News.